Here's my little table folded up. I want to show you how I set it to make it ergonomically correct. I open it up just one notch above being closed. This brings it up to 24 inches high. If you have your sewing machine on a dining room table, it's going to create too much stress on your neck and shoulders. 24 inches is a good height for having the base of your sewing machine to sit at. Now let me tell you about why I use two tables. Another reason I love having two tables is that if I'm only piecing and pressing with normal quilting, I can use my second table as a pressing table. You can see how much higher it is. I've got it on its highest setting. It's a lot higher than the one that I use for sewing at. And I use this gripper. I use this piece of wood. I use this side. A couple of layers of batting. A couple of sheets. Right now I just have one. But a couple of sheets of muslin. And that's my pressing surface. Now if I were sitting at my sewing machine, I could have the uh, sewing machine table and then the pressing surface off to the side, making a nice L shape if you've got enough space in your house for that. Here you can see I messed up on the cutting when I first did this. What would be better would be to have the foam come all the way up to the edge of the sewing machine so that if you're doing two pieces of foam, like I had to do, your bottom layer would be cut out for the base of the sewing machine, but your top layer of foam would be cut to fit right at the edge here. Okay, that's just something to keep in mind when you do your cutting for your foam.